Hello and welcome to GPTV on Tuesday the 6th of August. My name is Philip Kingston. And I'm Gary Pearce. It's a very considered introduction, that one, don't you think, Gary, the way I said that? Why would you say that? Well, because I've had some feedback from yeah. the viewers, Gary. Yeah, and the right. feedback from the viewers is they think this show yep. is a bit stale. And I it's think that we've got, well, you might not think it's true, no. but your opinion is not counted no. here because we make the show for oh, the viewers and if the viewers tell us it's stale okay. then we need to sharpen things up so they're so telling you, to you that you're stale no, no, <laughs> is that what the happened? show is stale and it's okay. in need of reinvention okay. and i think we've got to give why some is serious, that just coming to you we've got to give some serious thought as to how we freshen hey, the show uh, up helen ricketts is all right Hel helsey i saw her at a function yes uh, and she helsey said, oam yeah. i don't mind saying oh, she doesn't mind hearing Do you know it we've got professors what? that watch this show yeah. we've yeah. now got people that have oams yep. that watch world this leaders show. philip well gary world I'm, leaders watch this show i've got to tell you for inspiration it might be a stale show but there are people with high intellect that are watching this show god knows why. Phil, uh, another weekend of 100%. Can we just take a uh, note of both? Let's, throw, let's have a very throw, short I, I can of throw applause. some confetti. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Confetti but not a lot, now. not a lot. And a short applause, thank you, yep. uh, to the... 74% uh, industry clearance yeah. versus well, the 100% industry... Well, what do you make of that? Gary Peer and Associates. Yeah, clearance. what do you make of what that? 74... Of now, we're getting consistent... Uh, Clearance rates across Melbourne now in excess of 70%, Philip. What's going on in the market? So, Gary, there is no question that the market yep. has ticked up. We've seen it now week in, week out. Uh, yep. Since the federal election, we've said this many times, yep. uh, literally the phone started ringing the day after ScoMo took the Liberal yep. Party to win the, un lose, to win the yep. unwinnable Winnable. election. Yep. Uh, so business has been a lot better. Having said that, Gary, it's coming off very low volume. In fact, yep. uh, CoreLogic says that there's that, that this is yes. the lowest level of stock in 13 years. Yep. Now, the cynics about this market, and by the way, I am a bit of a cynic, the cynics about this market would say, well, um, if there was a lot more volume on the market, yep. would the clearance rates be as high as they are? And my call on that is, I don't think so. Maybe not, Phil. You know, I, I think, actually, I think the clearance rates will be high. Uh, I think there's an appetite for people. The buy numbers are out there. And I've got to tell you something else. Um, I've never played golf on a Sunday before, <laughs> but I actually discovered what golf on a Sunday was like, Phil, because I can't remember. And, and of course, people at the golf club are looking at me like, he must have a brother, Gary. He wouldn't be on a Sunday. And I'm well, sort of sheepishly. So, the worst part around. about you playing golf on a Sunday is that I was out for yeah. dinner at the Omnia restaurant and okay. a shout out to Larry Kestelman who has done the most incredible job. He's a brilliant this. man. Well, he's a man that just he's doesn't, a doesn't fail at anything. No. Anyway, we're having dinner at his well, restaurant. Nothing's admitting to it anyway. We were having dinner at his yeah. restaurant in Turek Road, South Yarra. Go to Omnia, great restaurant. Mention my name. It'll be no use to you whatsoever. <laughs> but having said that, um, I, I was sitting at a table and shout out to Ashley and Lisa oh, yeah. who said, Philip, business obvi is obviously quiet. And I, I said, know. Ashley, you're absolutely right. Right, but what makes you say so? And he said, well, played golf with your partner last Sunday. Sunday. I don't even have rights to the course on a Sunday. I'm going to get a special uh, passage to play, Phil. Uh, it's yeah, because your membership at Cranbird would be five days. Yeah, exactly. Oh, and, I only ever, and I only ever play one of those five days anyway. Yeah. Uh, but it was a very different experience. And of course, there's people that say, <laughs> is that the agent? And there's people sort of tapping on the back saying, sorry, mate, because you know, they the understood. Next time, and hopefully there will never be another yeah. time when you play yeah. golf on a Sunday, unless, a unless, unless it's in January. Play badly, uh, too. But the next time, yeah. you need to wear a one of those Donald Trump Trump plastic masks or something. <laughs> oh, yeah, just exactly a mask right. so that, pe marks that people or... don't know yeah, it's you because yeah, it's, it's a bad disguise. for our a disguise. Reputation. I know, it's shocking. I, I did wear a beanie and dark glasses. I thought I'd get away with it. Uh, Phil, I've got to talk... Speaking of yeah. Donald Trump, sorry, yep. viewers, if you're not, we get off track if you're like not watching, and, I've, and I'm, I've forgotten the show, but it's the story of Roger Ailes and yep. Fox News and the story behind the, the birth and growth of Fox News. I haven't seen that in the Sky Racing. It is, I haven't seen it on Sky Racing. Viewers, it is a, yep. probably one of the most gripping shows yep. I've ever watched because it's all based on truth. Yep. Uh, it's only about seven parts. Yep. Uh, watch it. It is incredible. I'm, into the, I'm into the big, uh, the chick flick, Big Little Lies. Phil. Big that? Little Lies. Yeah, well, I, I watched the like first. It. I watched the first like series. It. Kind of fell off oh, the wagon. No, I on like the second it. I like series. it. I'm into the. It's a bit of a chick flick, but I'm into the chick, chick flick. flick. Well, know, that's what you they can't say. Chick well, flick. Well, I don't make it up. It's not. Well, can't you say chick flick? No, it's but, it's, it's mis you're but a people that you're but a people that review it call it chick flick. You are a misogynist bastard, and that's you can say that, but I can't say chick flick. That's appropriate. But what I said is. Hey, yeah. I'll tell you one thing we're not doing. We're not going to go out and do any auctions in, uh, is it Endeavour Hill? Sorry, I have to have a little look here. Uh, we're not going to do any auctions in Willis Hill. 
Wheeler's Hill, Phil. We're not. We're staying away from Wheeler's Hill. Why are we uh, staying away from because Wheeler's Hill, Gary? They're, they're, the oh, auction scene yes. there. What's going on with auctions in Wheeler? What is going on in Wheeler's Hill, Phil? They're going crazy because uh, there's a scuffle. There's been bruising. There's been pushing. There's been charge laid. I reckon it's becoming. I reckon auctions are becoming a bit more like an AFL footy game. I reckon you rough them up. You can grab the jumper. <laughs> And you can push them, but if they go to the so ground, you're on charge. what Gary is referring to. Yeah. There was an auction in Wheeler's Hill. Yeah, here's the article here. There was biffo between rival agencies. No, 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 it wasn't rival agencies. Yeah, I think it was, it was, no, the, it was rival agencies. No, I Gary. think it was a vendor, and I think it no, was a buyer, no, and it was the no, agent, no, no. and it was, it was all in. And it was last you know man standing. I in understand the ring that this has been produced in the Herald Sun, Gary, yeah. which is your favourite source of news. It is. It's and good. obviously, like you can't read the article with any detail. Well, they don't have the truth anymore. What can I do? There was biffo between agencies. One agency declined the. The declined another agent coming through the property. Yep. Biffo started, yep. and all I can say is that is the sign of a very quiet market. <laughs> hey, when well, real estate on. agents are more interested in Biffo than they so are. So you spend a lot of time in the gym. Is, yep. is your reason that you spend a lot of time in the gym because you're getting ready for that moment of when you're going to be getting down and dirty with one of our colleague agents and actually well, throwing to the ground? I do yeah. have, if you do remember, Gary, and yeah. we're not going to name <laughs> names on this show, oh, but, yes. but one will recall an, yes, a, an agent right. from another agency. Right. This is a big scandal. Be, it's basically an hour time the book. thrown out of our <laughs> small office right. at number 336 Orong Road. 336A. We didn't get the whole, a, we didn't get the whole where number. Where I did right. forcibly eject <laughs> another agent from this, another yeah. agency. Yeah. And all I can say yeah. is when I rang you to apologise, uh, the words from you are, you didn't hit him hard <laughs> enough. Well, no, I can't say that was right. But you, he, look, you when you're the, bullied, if, if you, you want to know the story, you have to defend yourself. Call. Yeah. Anyway, that's a shocking story. But we were young and foolish. But it's happening still, Phil. Uh, auctions are they dangerous, Phil? That's the question. Uh, auctions safe now you know for real estate agents to attend other real estate agents' auctions. That's on, what I want. On a nice note to this, yep. one of the beautiful parts of auctions since we've yep. had our coffee van, Gary, yep. is that have you noticed that at our auctions, mm. uh, when the coffee van is there, yep. that people are standing in line and all talking to each yep. other. I think it's added a really soft dimension to the. You've really taken it off the vicious and unfriendly and un unhappy. Uh, that was process. Big way yeah. to move things on. Well, we should move things on, Philip. The two auctions that we were successful in selling on the weekend of our grand total of two out of two, yeah, uh, we were in Hawthorne, Philip, in Hawthorne Grove. What a beautiful street Hawthorne Grove is, Philip. A magnificent winding tree line avenue full of mansions. Uh, and we sold a property there. It's undisclosed, but it's a GPTV exclusive. You'll know that it was sold for 1550 Philip. What an exclusive. It's a GPTV TV exclusive. Yeah. If you want People to know equipped. about the sale yep. of a property in exactly Hawthorne right. that was undisclosed, you yeah. You, you, you've watched this show. <laughs> You're right. How good is that? So you don't want to go and get a cup of tea in, the, in that part of the show, Phil, uh, although you could take your phone with you, I suppose. But that sold. And then, of course, we sold Philip in Kurigal Road uh, in Carnegie for $420,000. Uh, $420, Phil, I should wear my glasses. Uh, Leo Samuel sold that. And that was a wrap for the weekend. That a couple was of properties sold before auction, which gave us four out of four for the yep. weekend. So four out of four quite. is better than two out of two. Very but four quiet. out of four is just about as Definitely quiet as it quiet. gets. Should Having said that, getting some strokes uh, off my game the July, the six weeks really from the 1st of July to the second weekend in August yeah. that really is the quiet part and I looked at our auction schedule for the coming weekend Gary it's yep. starting to ramp up as we go throughout August yeah, but September October November but, but we're well down period. we're well down oh, numbers we are numbers so are down. well decimated we are so well down yeah. that I now get a call on the 30th of each month from the National Australia Bank <laughs> who I lease my Range Rover from yeah. just and and the bank manager is saying are we good for tomorrow <laughs> good for tomorrow exactly right don't don't use too much petrol. You can get it on sale on the corner of uh, Bamber Road and Glen Huntley Road. Uh, there was a time when real estate agents used to buy cars and yep. boats and, 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 there'd be a, houses. And, there, and there'd be a queue outside, mm, beautiful exactly. suit shops. <laughs> and great restaurants, Phil. Correct. They've correct. been abandoned. Anyway, correct. they're the ties we're in. Nothing good lasts forever. Nothing bad lasts forever, nothing, Philip. It's going to come back. Nothing, That's right. Nothing. You're right. Nothing. You're right. Nothing. Exactly. Nothing. Hey, do we review this weekend's auctions? Because we've got lots of let's them. Let's have a look at what's coming up this uh, weekend. Phil, we have got on Saturday, I think there's something like eight auctions all over Melbourne. Yes. And you're a busy boy. You're going to start off in Brunswick, Philip. So before we talk about Brunswick, Gary, yeah. we talked in the sales meeting yesterday about where we sell in Melbourne these days. Yeah. And there are no geographic boundaries no, now to Gary Peer and Associates because at the moment we've got auctions from Brunswick over yeah, there. No, it's actually Brunswick West. I'm Brunswick sorry. Brunswick West, yeah. which yeah. is over there. We've got 
Frankston, yep. which is down that way. Yeah, we've got, we've Mitcham, got now. Mitcham. Yeah, we love we've it. We've got Mitcham. Hawthorne. Yeah. Uh, the reality is, Glen viewers, Waverley, Mount viewers, Waverley. Now we are not bound. Since the world of the yep. internet, we're not bound by geographic no. locations. No, no. Wherever you have a home, we have the expertise. Uh, Philip mm. commercial there, Gary. Mm, that's a nice, a nice little mm. grab there. 10 a.m. Philip is your start, so have it early night on Starting Friday night. Starting in Brunswick. Uh, have it Can't early wait night, for please. That. Yeah, you're yep. gonna be a Brunswick Road, Philip, with this fantastic four-bedroom, two-bathroom property. Uh, what a great-looking property it is, too, Philip. Look at that uh, beautiful modern treetop. We don't need oasis. to look down, Gary, because it's on We're the screen okay. behind you. That's the purpose of spending the thousands of dollars oh, on the green that's screen. That's it. I'm, I find it hard to get used to. Change doesn't come easily, Philip. I know. I know. I know that abacus that sits on your desk, Gary. Oh, I can count perfectly with it. Exactly right. One day I'll move to a calculator, Philip. Yep. Um, I still like, you know what I'm upset about? The cars don't have Tell the me. cartridge players anymore. Because I used to like the car, not the cassettes, but the cartridges, Philip. The 8 track cartridges. You know what you'd be, missing, track playbacks. What you'd be missing in your car would be an yeah. ashtray. Yeah, oh, I've still got an ashtray. I don't about that. <laughs> I remember the time yeah. when, when cars were full of cigarette butts yeah. in ashtrays. Yeah. Well, my wife used to tell me that her one of the memories of smoke that she didn't enjoy was in the back seat with her father driving because he'd smoke and all of the all of the smoke would go back. But that's how it was in those days. Felt you everybody know, I smoked remember everywhere. taking my first overseas trip yes. in 1976, oh, yeah. which was a flight from Melbourne to London. Yeah, smoking um, on the and, plane. And we oh, were sitting. We were sitting. In the non smoke, we were sitting in the non smoking <laughs> section, <laughs> yeah. which was just one row of seats in front yeah, of the smoking what section. Were, what were people thinking of at that time? You know, you're sitting here saying, I'm, I'm, "It's non smoking. I'm fine. I'm fine." And meanwhile, it's like you're hot boxing in this cloud and, of smoke. And I, rem I remember that, yeah. this. I remember this clearly because yeah. it was a people, defining moment going on. The modern generation wouldn't believe it. Though. But not only that, yeah. and young viewers, you'll understand that there yeah. never used to be screens in the back of the seats. Oh, no. There was a projector yeah, sure. showing a movie yeah, that one show. And, yeah. and if you if you sat too far away from the <laughs> couldn't projector, see, you couldn't you see really it. didn't and see it. And had the glass of Skippy or whatever and it was. I, I remember watching yeah. this movie at like three o'clock in the morning. Yeah. Right? All the lights are off, but the yeah. movie's showing. And there's just this <laughs> haze, haze smoke. in front yeah. of me. You know what? I could have been me sitting in front of you, Phil, because I used to love smoking on planes as well. <laughs> the world uh, has yeah, changed, it changed as we head towards much. 2020, Gary. And I tell you what, how about when you get on a plane today in yep. some you know distant place and the ashtrays are still there on the seats? You know you want an yeah, old plane. You know that's a plane that you should not be on. Maybe not. Philip Hammerdale. Avenue. Uh, ben Rothschild has been handling that. Jeremy Roses uh, is going to be the auctioneer. We're How going to be great doing is Hammerdale as a spot? Uh, you Love know, you've there. got Dandenong Road on one side with the tram and the yep. park, and then you've got Carlisle Street, you've yep. got the train stations, you've got the tram lines. You have. That is just a great position. And Hammerdale's a re if you've never been down that street. Hammerdale, I it's like a, it a lot. really it's a great street. It's a very popular street, Philip, but not as popular as Poplar Grove oh, in Carnegie. Champagne uh, comedy, Gary. It's coming at you, Philip. Uh, we're going to be there in Carnegie, and Leo Samuel auctions this fantastic uh, premise. Tell us about this. Oh, look, it's four bedrooms, two bathrooms. It's got a parking Try not to look down, and Gary. It's a beauty. Well, it's difficult. Straight, too, straight into the camera. Yeah, okay, well, let's move on from that one to Remuera Road because, Philip, I happen to be the 11.30 a.m. auctioneer of that property. You're actually a busy boy this Saturday, I am Saturday, a busy boy. Gary. I like it. I'm out and about, Philip. Now, this is a spectacular semi-detached home, Philip, uh, and it has got a beautiful flow, a lovely floor plan. Uh, it's in great nick. And, Phil, we're talking about it being somewhere around that in the eights to maybe 900 or possibly over with competition. Philip, Nicky Genova has been viewers, if you can enjoying find anything it. sub a million dollars in Caulfield yep. South. Uh, whatever it is, it's a screamingly good buy, let alone something like that, which has got land. So can you, you know, now, there's a question, Philip, for yep. all viewers to answer. Can you get from Brunswick at 10 o'clock, Brunswick West, uh, to Bentley East by 11.30? So viewers, stay tuned yeah, exactly because right. the, race is on. the question is, will I make my auction at 11.30? That's a big uh, question, all I can say, viewers, I'm down to one point on my license. <laughs> this may <laughs> well be the weekend, yeah, exactly but I have right. no points, but I've already picked out, I've already already worked out yeah. that I should have a show fact. Well, anyway. that's what I was going to say. Because you know, first of all, who's I'm so important, yeah. and yeah. secondly, I'm such a bad driver. Yeah, you'll it would probably one. be an investment. You are, you are a really, I think you're a really bad driver. You actually, it's not something new. It's something you've got a lot of time to get used to. You've always been bad. Philip, at 11:30, we're going to be in Volkstone Street. These magnificent premises uh, of five bedrooms that Leon Gusenfitter has had the pleasure yes. of handling, uh, and certainly together with Simon Radolnik, uh, they are excited about that. So should we be? Because that one and goes I'll up. I'll be excited. If I get there on time. Without losing your license, that would be great.
good. Uh, Philip, at 12.30, uh, I'm going to be doing an auction in Brighton, East Philip, this magnificent property in Coronation Street. Uh, absolutely love this three-bedroom, two-bathroom. Coronation two Street. Yeah, yeah. Very regal, isn't oh, it? Oh, it's very regal, Philip. I might use my most regal accent. Well, going you to should sort of, use your yeah. best English, I Gary. I think I will speak in a very uh, English dialect, which I'm not at the moment, but I will probably find it, Philip, somewhere there. Uh, but this one, <laughs> that's, it's very That's Neil Harvey. What, what was yeah. it? Peter Harvey. Peter Harvey. Oh, okay. Peter Harvey. Yeah. Yeah. He wasn't even English, was he? Uh, but anyway, this house, Philip's got a beautiful north orientation with a pool, yes. and uh, that one's been popular. Very excited about that one, Philip. I'll be doing the auction there at 12.30. Uh, we and joined if you've forces. just tuned in and you know nothing about real estate yep. viewers, a northern orientation is your number one orientation, yep. followed by a western orientation, yep. number two, an eastern orientation, number three, and then oh. followed by a southern orientation, which is no number four. Aren't you brilliant? Having said what that, was viewers, it? What year was there it? is nothing wrong with a southern yeah. orientation. What year was it at Cootamundra High that they showed you, gave you a compass? Did you wear a butter scout? Well, you, I did uh, have Do you remember the one in the shoe? 100% Do you remember, remember that? That's another, we're really yeah. going back here, aren't we? talking about smoking on planes, in offices, and, uh, and having compass a compass in your in shoe. shoe. They were For the best what shoes. purpose, I have no <laughs> idea. <laughs> well, you never know. You could get lost, Philip. Yep. Um, you can never know. Bring back yeah. the barter school oh, shoe, shoe yeah, with, with a, compass. a compass in it. It's highly, uh, it's overdue, Philip. One thirty. Uh, we've got an auction that Jeremy Rhodes is doing in Boran Road, Philip. This is a wonderful one-bedroom apartment. I remember selling this to the current vendor all those years ago yep. who actually used to work in real estate with us. Do you remember ah, that? I do. Yeah, I do, I do, absolutely. So, well done. Congratulations to that vendor on your uh, good purchase and good sale hopefully for Saturday and thank you for letting us rent it out for you all those years. Uh, Philip, at 1.30 we join forces in Teak Street, uh, this extraordinary corner property, a brick pair. Gary, this um, is I a, reckon this is a great this, buy. This is a buy because yep. you get two incomes for the price yep. of one property. Yep. Uh, you, the, the, the opportunities for this property are, are, are extensive they because are. you've got a corner site which is it a is. development site subject of course to council of approval. Course, yes. You've got two homes, you could yep. separate them, you could live in one, rent the other out. Yeah. Great investment opportunity, a land bank. Uh, land banking in South Caulfield, if only we'd been taking our exactly advice right. over the last 10 years, we've always been saying that part of South Caulfield is still a buy uh, and it is still a buy today. So there is a very is a astute investor, you know who he is, we won't name him, but he always made his business a buy pairs. Yes. That was his thing. Yep. And of course, nothing's probably appreciated better than good brick, brick pairs pair, on a good block of land. it's a land bank. It's land a land bank. bank. You yep. can rent one, uh, sell one. You can, uh, over time, and as Mark Twain, buy. the famous American novelist, said, "Invest in land. They're not making any more of it." Indeed, Philip. Uh, hey, uh, Phil. except in Dubai, where they keep yeah keep Taking making water. land, and and I don't know how that works. I'm not but, sure. But uh, who wants to buy in Dubai anyway? Exactly right. Don't buy in Dubai when you can buy into Melbourne, <laughs> Phil. Uh, can we move on? Uh, we did have somebody, yeah, by the way. All of this is unrehearsed. I, I promise know, you, so we bad. did not Couldn't rehearse that. Couldn't but I've got to tell you, it was yeah. brilliant. <laughs> Good on you. Uh, so, Phil, how about uh, somebody did comment last week, by the way, on our previous episode where we talked about our banter about all the auction characters and they talked about your yes. lines. I think we'll save it for next week yes. and bring that because it's very good. Shout out to Stephen. Thank Stephen you for good. your feedback. Well, Steve, we're going to bring it up next week because we're going to running out of time and no, no one's really watching anymore anyway. In fact, yeah. Stephen, because of that wonderful, wonderful... Um, uh, exchange anecdotal, of yeah, emails. We're going to give you two tickets to go to Village Cinema Gold Class, enjoy an evening out uh, with Sally. Yeah, why okay. not? Because we're not we're, with we're, food we're, vouchers we're, as well. No, not the no. food voucher okay, part. Cool. No, you have to buy your own popcorn. Things stand, aren't that good, you know. Phil. I know, but yep. you know what, though, Gary? The more you give, yep. the more you get. You're back. right, Philip. Yeah, I agree with and you. And always there. give, Gary, with no anticipation or no expectation of res reciprocity. Yeah, that's a word you've always struggled with. I know reciprocity, but I'm reciprocation, Philip. That's the yeah. That's the, but, that's the noun, I think. But reciprocity. Yeah. The okay. law of reciprocity. Hey, those, Stephen, that, that, the law that, of reciprocity. That, but giving it to you with no uh, expectation. That Saturday we, we just talked about, Phil, there was eight auctions in eight suburbs. That was pretty happening. That was pretty yep. cool. Uh, we've got three auctions in three suburbs on Sunday, Philip. We're starting off in Bandira Road. Bandira. Uh, you're, the, Bandira. You're, the, you're, the, you're the Love only person location. doing auctions on Sunday, so just make sure you A keep yourself nice and safe on Saturday brand night. brand new home, Gary, with absolutely all the bells and whistles. Yep. Come down and have a look at this. Uh, this is state-of-the-art living, and this is really the future of what's yep. happening in all of the middle ring suburbs, Gary, uh, where single houses are being pulled down and being replaced with two or three. As we, uh, as Melbourne expands, uh, the state governments are obviously encouraging this sort of uh, development.
develop. Mm -hmm. They are indeed. So Phil, uh, we're going to be in Regent Street, the right next door to the oh. block, the oh, development of the block. Regent Street. Uh, when, you know, I think it's public knowledge now that the block in Regent Street happened as a result of the ingenuity of yourself it was selling scary. that particular block of land to the block and saying to them, come buy I this, do something it new. I to them as they yeah. were ordering me round at the auction in that's Port right. Melbourne yeah, and I said, no, 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 Bring me your boss yeah, because exactly I'm going to pitch something at him. Exactly right. And they were so impressed that we never got to be on the block again after that. But, <laughs> anyway, but anyway, they bought Regent Street off speaking right next door, Phil. Yes. Uh, we've got the most magnificent uh, single level, three bedroom, two bathroom, two parking, uh, villa home, Philip. That's been Viewers, really popular. Real estate tip coming at you. We should have yep. a real estate tip, some sort of yeah. uh, some, some, some sort, sort of, of theme. noise theme yeah, yeah, yeah. thing. Or, a, they come or, up or with, yeah. like a Shazam yeah. thing. Yeah. You know, yeah, like, Shazam. Like, Shazam. Like, like, like a Batman thing. Real like, estate tip with what's going on in Glen Huntley Road, Elston, Wick Gary, yep. in terms of the redevelopment of the Coles supermarket. The, uh, the, Woolies. the, the Woolies is coming to yep. town with the apartment buildings that yeah. are being There's built. Towers, with Phil. the revitalisation of Glen Huntley Road. Yeah. My tip, my Cl real estate tip, forgot the classic buy cinema. anything walking distance to yep. the epicentre of Glen Huntley Road yep. and I believe in the future those properties will outpace the marketplace good. because that precinct is absolutely on fire. How good is Elston Wick? Oh. Why did I ever sell there? I don't know. Do you Phil. know what, Gary? I have uh, no idea why you ever sold oh, because the house that you sold has tripled in yes, value has, since yeah. you sold it. Congratulations to the buyer. Good luck to you. Uh, Philip, we're going to finish off in Newington Grove, a terrific address beautiful. in Caulfield North. Beautiful hey, address, beautiful by the house. Way, hey, Phil, by the way, Hang have on, you let's seen... Let's talk about Newington oh, okay. Grove. Yeah, I'll come back yeah. to that. Newington Grove, what a magnificent home. Uh, this house is just ready to move straight into, not spend a cent. Uh, and Newington Grove is so well located. The Caulfield train station, the East Caulfield Shopping Centre, Balaclava Road, the Caulfield Park, the list yes. of, uh, of attractions yeah, is but going on. Now, what did you want but, to say? But hey, Phil, hey, but I should hey. say, um, when you just go, when you go hey. Hey, hey, Phil, when you go outside of Newington Grove and you go down Station Street, you know, yes. where that beautiful um, property is that we manage, that used to be the old uh, car service. Yes. I remember we used yes. to go there and they'd fill up, car, you want some oil, mate? And they'd lift the bonnet and they'd do all that. Uh, next to the service station, Station there, which is now a development that we manage, and I'm going around a very long way to get to what oh. I want to say. Uh, right next door, that uh, Beckton project, yes. all of those shops are going to be open soon, Phil. There's yes. going to be cafes and oh, restaurants, no. and it's going to be buzzing. Yep. And have you seen what's going on there? Do you know what's happening? I just hope, Gary, I just yeah. hope in all of those Hub shops of for North, that yeah. there is a nail salon. Yeah, I'd like there to be a pinball parlor. No, That's no, what I'd like. <laughs> nail <laughs> salons. How many yeah. nail salons yeah. do you reckon there are and, in and, Melbourne? And, and massage. I think we need another place to relax, Philip, and get, get some therapy. I get a massage every week. Do you get it every week as well? No, I used to, but yeah, I'm in not? between masseuses at the moment. No, I'm go looking to John for... Chibley. I, go to John Chibley. No, He's no, fantastic. No, no, no. I'm looking for a strong female okay, masseuse. Fair enough. We'll, yeah. we'll leave that one yeah. where it is. But, uh, Philip, I could recommend so John Chibley. If you've got any recommendations, strong female uh, masseuse. Well, John Chibley can dress up as a woman for you. If you don't, I think he's done it before, actually. He doesn't mind doing that. If you'd like him to, he can. A good masseuse. And that's a big wrap. On GP, we've just gone on for too long, Philip. We, we're going to we soon go back to our dual episode when we have a lot more listings on Tuesdays and, we're looking, and Thursdays. We're, viewers, we're looking for something fresh. We're looking for some fresh ideas. Yeah, we haven't so, interviewed anyone so for in, a long time. Instead of the, the negative feedback we've we've copped over the last yeah, few the weeks from, from a num number yeah. of dissatisfied GPTV yeah. unsubscriber watchers, <laughs> uh, if you'd like to freshen up the show, yeah. always looking for good ideas. You exactly. name it, we'll think about yeah. it, bring it in. Yeah. And obviously, if we take your ad advice, uh, there's going to be something in... in in good in return and I because think the law yeah. of reciprocity continues and to I think exist. That I think the goodness, the goodness we can share out there, Philip, is if you come to one of our auctions this weekend, we will not push you to the ground. You will be safe. And we, <laughs> that's one of the advantages of coming to our auctions. And, and new, and new marketing slogan is, exactly is right. no biffo auctions. <laughs> no biffo on our auctions. Uh, a bit of fun there uh, on GPTV. Uh, my name is Gary Peer. We'll see you next week. I'm Philip Kingston. Have a fantastic week.